But I think that um, an attack following any kind of nuclear device, whilst it is always present, is unlikely in these times, but who can tell? What uh, is more likely is a dedicated hand or man-carried or vehicle-carried attack from uh, one of these portable generators. And also, they are included in vehicles uh, for military use. There's lots of ways of taking out control systems with a targeted and focused EMP pulse. And that gives you ob obvious advantages. Uh, it could be a tactical one if it's in the military field, or even it could be you are disrupting a, an airport, a control system within a nuclear power station, any kind of control system. Um, I often uh, talk about the, the possible threat and the result by relating to my teenage daughters. Um, if they lose Wi-Fi on their phones for any length of period, all hell breaks loose. It's the end of the world in their, their eyes. Imagine losing control of your uh, telephone system, losing control of street lighting, traffic lights, the, the kind of chaos that that will bring. That is what an EMP attack can, can cause. It goes from mild disruption to total breakdown. Um, a serious attack on a large scale can take out control systems across a continent. And it's been discussed and suggested that uh, one uh, EMP, nuclear EMP device detonating high up in the atmosphere over North America could feasibly take out all of the control systems of the entire continent. And that is uh, discussed could bring North America almost back into the Dark Ages when all control systems are out and you go back almost to a barter economy. But that's the most severe case. Well, the first thing you will notice is that any screens will start to go fuzzy, grey and cut out completely. And depending on the strength of the attack, um, you will basically lose your, lose your servers. The circuits within, um, the conducted energy that goes through those servers will fry the circuits. At best, it's recoverable with time, but usually the system's down completely and needs replacing. 